Now introducing Sky's virtual classroom. So all you have to do to start this up is easy. You just click the zoom thing. You click camera on. That's me. You click the microphone and you can even share your screen. So I'm going to click screen share. Once you do this, you can see all of your students already waiting in the waiting room for them. To admit them, it's easy. You can admit them one at a time. Click admit, admit. Or if you want to admit a whole bunch at a time, you just go ahead and click a bunch of them and click place. So hello class, one's waiting back. And just like in other video conferencing programs, uh, if you want them to speak, you can just go ahead and unmute them one at a time. So hello, Al, how are you doing? I'm doing great, how about yourself? I'm doing very well. And if I want to call on Pete, I can do the same thing. Hey Pete, what's up? Doing good, doing thanks good. for having me. Okay, absolutely, this is great. And so because I'm sharing my screen with this icon, uh, they should also be able to switch to my screen. So if I want to close this off and start working on some sort of word problem together, you know, they would all be able to see my screen. So I could be doing, you know, some sort of work. Like I could be showing a whiteboard. I could be showing how to solve an equation and they would be able to see everything that I'm doing. For example, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of that. The other thing is, if they have questions, they can go ahead and raise their hands. So any questions, you can raise your hands. And not only that, but you can see the order in which they raised their hands. So you can see, OK, I better call Melanie first. And if I want to call Melanie, I just go ahead and click unmute. Hi, Melanie, what question? What question did you have? Why is Sky so cool? <laughs> it just is. That's the way it was made. And it's cool because all of you. Um, and then I can go ahead and put her hand down and then we go to the next in line and has all the options that we need to address questions one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and put everyone's hands down. I'm going to also note that you can see how long someone's had their hand up. So if they're like, oh, I've had my hand up for 10 minutes. You'd be like, no, no, Jasmine, you've had your hand up for exactly 37 seconds. I know it seems like five minutes when your hand is in the air and then that's it. Um, one more thing I want to notice. So right now it's just like any other video conferencing program. Everyone's in the same room, everyone's talking, everyone, only one person can talk at a time, that kind of thing. Um, you can make it so you have to unmute people one at a time. It's called no collaboration. Or you can make it so anyone can unmute themselves if you want. But between those two extremes, you know, what do you do if like people want to be chatting, having conversations, but you don't want the whole class to get incredibly noisy? One traditional solution is breakout rooms, but those are kind of risky unsafe, unsupervised. You make a bunch of breakout rooms in other programs, students are basically there by themselves and you have to hop back and forth between them. So here at Skies, we've come up with what we think is a better solution. We call it Skies Tables. So I'm gonna make table one, table two, table three, table four, and I can even go ahead and rename them to good. Um, I don't wanna use the word better. I'll say also good, you know, awesome and great and i'm going to go ahead and start randomly assigning people to tables and i'll also put pete in the good category no i'll put you guys all in the great category i feel like good should just be removed okay i'm removing the good table there and now we have you guys in table. And the cool thing about these tables is now you guys can actually be talking to each other without me hearing it or without anyone else hearing it. It's just like a regular classroom where students at a table can be chatting with each other and I can be lecturing. Everyone sees me, everyone hears me. And if I'm curious about what they're talking about, I can also listen in so I can hear what Al and Jane are talking about. What does variable B even mean in this equation? Hmm, that's something I may, maybe want to address with the rest of the class. Or I can listen to what Jasmine and Min are talking about. Hi, Jasmine. Thank you for uh, thank you for helping me uh, like allow me to shadow you. Of and course, the thank you. Thank you for being a full student. <laughs> and I can even listen to what Melanie, James, and Pete are talking about. Yeah, this is this has been a lot of fun. We can finally like work together yeah, again. That's amazing. And then I can, I can shut it off and be like, okay, now I'm just going to continue talking because I don't want to hear from any of the tables right now. 
Um, of course, if you don't want people on tables to talk to each other, you can shut off collaboration. And now you notice everyone's muted and no one can unmute themselves. So they're all paying attention to me. But if I want a little bit of collaboration, I can go ahead and let the group work start. So it's really quite nice. Another thing I can do is let's say I want to call on Min and I want everyone in the class to hear from Min. I just go ahead and click call on. And now Min suddenly at the front of the table is unmuted. Hello. So, hey, Min. And then uh, once Min's finished answering some question or discussing something, I just hit return and boom, he's back to his table. But let's say you guys are working on independent work. I can also go ahead and visit a table. So I can go visit Jane and Al's table. I'm just gonna go ahead and click visit. And suddenly I'm there, I'm there talking to them and I can go ahead and unmute them and things like that. Hey Jane, hey Al. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put myself back in front of the class. I'll go ahead and put Al back where he was before. And that's it with tables. The last thing you might notice is that there's a switch you can use to turn the entire room off or on, uh, sometimes useful. And also students can, if they have low bandwidth, they can restrict their view to just the teachers and table mates or teachers only. If you know having everyone on one screen slows it down a little too much. Um, if you wanna see everyone in one big page, you can also just make the screen smaller, pressing command minus, command minus, command minus, and you can shrink it to as much as you want to see everyone or you can return it to normal size if you want to see everyone's faces in more detail. Okay, that's about it, and hope you enjoy using Sky's Virtual Classroom, now featuring Sky's Tables.